today on spells, you're going to need about five coins, four cards, a handkerchief, a marker, and paper. Get ready to have some fun. Hey everyone, welcome to Spells. I'm Jay. And I'm Bridget. And on today's episode, we're gonna do something we have never, ever done before. We're gonna teach you some amazing and extremely easy to do magic tricks using just coins. In uh, fact, Jay, I'm trying Jay, to... we already have done an episode about coins. You sure? Yep. We have? Uh, yeah, I think we have some tape on it. Wow, you really did a good job of that one. And lucky for you, and for you, we've got tons more really cool magic tricks with coins to share. So scoop up some coins and let's make some magic. Bridget, this is a real classic of magic. It's an especially elegant routine. So much so, why don't you come around to the end here? Okay. And I think you're gonna enjoy it much more watching it from there. Okay. Something with four coins and four cards. Cover each of the coins with a card. Here is how you do it. Got a handkerchief, you got some four coins and four cards and that's it. Now I'm gonna get one ahead. That's a magic principle, getting one ahead. And to do that, what I do is this. I have my cards and I'm gonna cover the first coin. Grab that coin with the tips of my fingers and slide it underneath. Then I'm gonna put this card on top of that one. I'm gonna let that other quarter be added. Then take these two and cover it. So there's nothing here. Quarter there, two under there to begin. I take a card off and it looks like I slipped the quarter all the way underneath but mm -hmm. all I'm really doing is dropping it off on my fingers here and moving forward everybody's gonna look there and now go wow there's two coins there and I slide this back and as I slide it back I'm gonna get the other coin underneath okay okay then I put this on top and I'm ahead again I come over here pick this one up go underneath again dropping it off on the left fingers go do like that, show the hand empty. And now people cannot believe there's three. To finish, I just add this last coin to the other coins. Pretend to pick up this one. There's nothing even there. That's pretty easy to make vanish, that one. Then boom, tip this over. All four coins have passed through. I tell you, those coins, they're crazy coins. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. A big inspiration behind my coin work has always been the King of Coins. Who's the King of Coins? Well, his name was T. Nelson Bounds. And in the early 1900s, he was so famous, he performed for kings and emperors. And some of his greatest coin tricks involved being able to palm 60 coins. Sorry, what's palming again? Well, palming is when you can hide an object in your hand. And he was able to palm 60 coins? 60 coins. Pretty amazing, huh? He performed one of the greatest tricks ever, using only some coins and a bucket. The trick was called the miser's dream. He would walk on stage with a bucket. Then he'd start pulling coins out of nowhere. He'd look up to the sky and point to it 
and then he'd reach out and grab a coin from thin air, and then another, and another, and another, until it seemed it was raining coins. He did that until the bucket was completely filled. Wow, raining coins? Now that's an interesting change in weather. <laughs> As you can see, I've written a letter on each of these five coins, making the word magic. Bridge, I'm gonna ask you to shake those coins in your hands. I'm gonna grab them all up, you take them in your hands. Cup your, and really give them a good shake. Flip them all over on. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna write one letter on here. Oh, no peeking, no peeking. <laughs> one letter. Okay, I'm gonna put that down there. Now, in a moment, I actually throw the coins on the table, not okay. too hard. Mm -hmm. Cheap stage prop. And when it hits the table, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all the coins that have uh, the, the letters facing down. We'll get rid of all the ones when any letters are facing down. Go ahead, okay. let's see. Okay, so there's one with the letter facing down. The other with the facing down. We'll get rid of those two, leaving us the M, the G, and the I. Go ahead, take those, shake them up. This way, that way, this way, that way. Okay, <laughs> and then drop them, let's see. Oh, we got rid of that. Now we're down to the M and the I. Go ahead, last one. Shake, shake, shake. Over, this way. Retro disco dancing. Here we go, let's see. What are we gonna get? Oh, got rid of the last one. We're down to the M. Which, of course, makes for... Hmm. <laughs> this is how you do it. You need to have a NASA space magnet inside your cap of your... No, you don't. <laughs> it's very simple. Look, 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 look. up. And don't forget, this fooled you a moment ago, but now I'm going to reveal it to you, okay? The best magic tricks are the simplest. I have an M on both sides of the oh, okay. M coin, okay? Mm -hmm. The rest are just one-sided. Mm -hmm. So when they were in your hand, I, all I have to do is say, here, take them, put them in your hand. So you've got them in your hand, and you're shake, shake, shake them, hopefully. <laughs> and you really want them to shake, because you don't want them to throw them down. They're all facing the one way. You right. want some roll. Mm -hmm. All I do is write an M, because I have a memory, and I remember which one is the <laughs> double-sided one. <laughs> then I say, throw down. Boom, she throws it like that. And I go, that's fine, pick them up again. And notice I'm picking them up because you really don't want somebody else picking it up because they might right. turn one over by it. Give it a shake, boom, we'll throw them down again. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got rid of three that time. So we get rid of those three, down to these two, take it and give it a shake, shake, shake. Free to just try it again, here we go. Okay, and it's down to the M and boom, like that. Okay, and... Um, what happens if they want to look at the coin? Great question. Because sometimes they'll want to look at the coins, right? So what I'll do is if I sense that there's sort of people that, you know, want to be grabbing everything, looking at everything, I'll start to put the coins away in my pockets. And they say, hey, can we look at the coins? And I'll say, okay, you can look at the coins, sure. And now when they look at the coins, even the M is only one-sided because in my pocket, I put the other one. And to do that, I've got this other quarter with one M. I grab a couple, go to my pocket, and in this right pocket, that's when I grab the one M, Leave the other and go, oh, okay, sure, you can take a look at everything if you want. And you end, as we magicians say, perfectly clean. Don't just practice. Make sure to also have dress rehearsals. What that means is you put on your magic clothes, you take out your props, and you walk through everything just like there was a real audience there. That way, when you do perform for them, you're that much more prepared. Hey, Jay, since you've been showing us some pretty cool changes, I thought I'd share with you some interesting facts about another type of change that's equally amazing. Awesome. Did you know that frogs regularly change their skin? If you were a frog, one of the most important things for you would be that your skin was always moist and slimy. In order to always keep their skin healthy, they shed it. And underneath is a fresh new one. Whenever it happens, it looks pretty gross. They start to twist and turn and it kind of looks like they have the hiccups. This is to stretch themselves out of the skin. And then, this is the gross part, some frogs eat their skin. Ew! They eat their skin? <laughs> Give me pizza any day. Oh. 
Do you like playing checkers? I love playing checkers by myself. Yeah, by myself. I don't need anybody else. Play by myself. Look, 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 look. Got four checker pieces here. As a magician, if I just wiggle my hands, I'm hoping what I can do is make this one. Watch, watch. He, it, uh, monk, jumps right across. Yeah, look, I'll do it again. Watch, watch this one down here. Just a wiggle, and uh, that one goes across too. Last time. One more wiggle, boom, from there, over to there. That's all four, one by one. Checkers by myself. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Spells. Oh, wait, I, I got a great coin joke. I got a great, you're gonna like it, it's a good coin joke. Wanna hear it? Okay. How's a coin like a cat? I don't know. They both have a head and a tail, hmm? I get it. You're pretty funny. Whatever you do, don't change. Change. <laughs> Change, it's a good one. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Spells. <laughs> Change. Today I'm gonna do the arm rotation for you. So normally I can get my arm to go halfway in a 180, but sometimes if I really try hard, I can get it to do 360 and go all the way. 